Antoinette. That's Her Majesty the Queen to you. Je suis née le 2 novembre 1755. J'ai 37 ans. Je suis née à Vienna, Austria. Je suis très belle et je suis perçue. Je vais vous raconter un peu de ma vie. I was born Maria Antonia Josepha Joanna in Vienna, Austria. I was the 15th child of Maria Theresa, Empress of Austria. When I was 10 years old, my whole life changed. <coughs> Louis Ferdinand, heir to the throne of France, died, leaving Louis Auguste heir to the throne. I was pledged to marry him. The king, <coughs> Louis XV, sent me a tutor. <coughs> I didn't like him much. He said I was lazy and extremely frivolous and that I was hard to teach. The nerve of him. I married Louis at age 16. At first, the thought of the throne was too much. I became homesick and was not ready for the role of queen. But when Louis XV passed away and I became queen, I was no longer frightened. The life of the queen was marvelous. There were parties, dresses, and best of all, gambling. Louis didn't like parties. He was too shy and no fun at all. Mother thought that I was not doing very well with Louis and sent my older brother to give us advice. We worked out our differences and had a daughter, Marie Therese Charlotte, in 1778. <coughs> in the 1780s, I began to spend more money and gamble more. My people who gave me the name, dare I say it, Madame Deficit. What's more, in 1785, a thief posing as me stole a diamond necklace. My people lost faith in me and thought I was guilty. I didn't care. I built I went ahead with my daily life as queen and built an extravagant resort in Versailles. On July 14, 1789, workers and peasants stormed the Bastille prison to take the arms and ammunition. This was the beginning of the revolution. On October 6, a crowd of 10,000 gathered outside the Palace of Versailles and demanded that Louis and I were to be taken to Paris. We traveled to Paris and I immediately began to search for help from other European countries for my cowardly husband was too petrified to do anything. After all, I was a great communicator. I tried to escape with my lover, Count Axel von Fersen. It failed, and I was brought back to Paris. In September 1791, Louis signed a contract, a constitution that only allowed him to keep his symbolic power. The next year, the monarchy was overthrown, and we were arrested. In January 1793, Louis XVI was dragged to the guillotine and executed. That was my fate, too. On October 16, 1793, I was beheaded. My death was seen as the downfall of the European monarchies. Well, I was not just the stupid, partying, gambling queen. I was the one who, when the peasants had no bread, said, let them eat cake! <laughs>